Today, a bombshell dropped in the racing world. Susie Wolfe filed a criminal complaint against the FIA and Lewis Hamilton is standing right beside her. They both think the FIA isn't owning up to its responsibilities. What could this mean for the future of motorsports? Let's dive into this video today to uncover all the details. Here we begin. In recent times, Formula One has been filled with controversies beyond the racetrack. A seven-time champion, Lewis Hamilton is raising concerns about no transparency and no accountability in the sport. He's particularly pointing fingers at the FIA, Formula One's governing body. Hamilton believes that things are happening behind closed doors, leaving fans in the dark. Before the Australian Grand Prix, Hamilton expressed his worries, stating, how can you trust the sport if you don't have that? He also mentioned controversies involving Susie and Toto Wolff, which led to an investigation on conflict of interest. Susie Wolff made headlines by filing a complaint against the FIA in French courts. The case is believed to be one of defamation against several senior figures within the FIA. On the same day the organization's ethics committee cleared its president of claims, he interfered with races in Saudi Arabia and Las Vegas last year. This move came after the FIA initiated and then abandoned an investigation in December 2023 regarding an alleged breach of confidentiality. The investigation stemmed from concerns raised by other team principals about Toto Wolff, Mercedes team boss, benefiting from information shared by his wife Susie, who directs the all-female F1 Academy series. Despite vehement denials from the Wolffs and Mercedes and denying any complaints from the other nine F1 teams, the FIA dropped the investigation. They claimed that Formula One's compliance rules were robust enough to prevent breaches. Lewis Hamilton commended Susie Wolfe for taking legal action against the FIA, especially after the controversial conflict of interest inquiry into her last year. Further, when asked about Mohammed Ben Sulayem's tenure as FIA president, Lewis Hamilton expressed a lack of confidence, stating, he never has. Hamilton went on to commend Susie Wolf, expressing pride in her courage and leadership qualities. He said, she's such a leader, and in a world where often people are silenced, for her to be standing up sends such a great message. And I love that she's taken it out of this world, fighting it from outside, because there is a real lack of accountability here within this sport, within the FIA, things that are happening behind closed doors. Moreover, he added, so hopefully this stand she is taking now will create change and have a positive impact, and especially for women. It's still a male-dominated sport. We live in a time when if you file a complaint, you'll be fired. That is a terrible narrative to project towards the world, especially when we talk about inclusivity in sport. I feel more than ever it is important to stand up, call out improper behavior, and make sure people are held to account. Whilst some may think silence absolves them from responsibility, it does not. In continuing his remarks, Lewis Hamilton seemed to allude to the controversy involving Christian Horner, who faced allegations of inappropriate behavior from a female colleague. This comes amid ongoing discussions within Formula One about a female colleague's accusations against Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. Despite an external investigation conducted by Red Bull GmbH dismissing the complainant's grievance, she has filed a formal appeal against the decision. The complainant, who was suspended with full pay from her role at Red Bull Racing, has contested Red Bull's dismissal of her complaint. Throughout the investigation, Horner, 50, has consistently denied the allegations against him and has continued to hold his position as the head of the reigning constructors' champions. Moreover, BBC Sport previously said Red Bull suspended an employee for dishonesty. Lewis Hamilton said, Formula One is still mostly run by men. Nowadays, if you complain, you might lose your job. He thinks it's wrong to send this message, especially when we talk about including everyone in the sport. He emphasized, we must stick to our main principles. There were allegations against Ben Sulayem. Someone reported that he was pressured to change a penalty for Fernando Alonso in Saudi Arabia and told officials not to approve the Las Vegas track for racing. The FIA's compliance officer's report included claims by a senior FIA official who witnessed both incidents. After interviewing 11 witnesses, the FIA declared that their ethics committee found Ben Sulayem not guilty of any wrongdoing. George Russell, 
a director of the Grand Prix Drivers Association and Lewis Hamilton's teammate, expressed his belief in the integrity of sport leaders, saying, we hope that those in charge of the sport prioritize its well-being over their own interests. He stressed the importance of transparency. When things are clear and we know the outcomes of these cases, we can all judge for ourselves with all the facts. But if there's no transparency, we start suspecting hidden agendas. That's why it's crucial for the sport to communicate the right message. Not only Hamilton, but McLaren boss Zach Brown as well. McLaren's boss, Zach Brown, wants Formula One's governing body, the FIA, to be more open about its recent investigations. He thinks it's hard for the sport to move forward if there are still questions without answers. This request comes after the FIA's Ethics Committee said their president, Mohammed Ben Sulayem, didn't do anything wrong. Someone had accused Ben Sulayem of trying to unfairly influence F1 decisions on two occasions. However, the FIA didn't give many details about how they reached their decisions and didn't say anything more about the accusations. Also, Susie Wolf, who runs the F1 Academy, is taking legal action against the FIA. She's upset about how they looked into a claim that she had a conflict of interest because her husband, Toto, runs the Mercedes F1 team. The new season of Formula One has been clouded by accusations against Red Bull boss Christian Horner made by a female employee. Horner, who said he didn't do anything wrong, was cleared after an investigation while the employee was suspended. Zach Brown, the head of McLaren, spoke out on Friday saying, All the items that have come to light here in recent times are very serious situations. I think we're living in 2024, not 1984, which means total transparency. I think the three situations are different but all very serious and we need to make sure that things are done transparently, truly independent. I think everyone should welcome transparency. Ferrari's boss, Fred Vasseur, also wants more openness. However, he seemed to suggest that only the media, not people in the sport or its fans, care about these stories. Peter Bayer, the new CEO of Red Bull's junior team RB, recently offered a fresh perspective. Bayer previously worked at the FIA, including as the executive director for F1. He highlighted the presence of an independent ethics committee and mentioned measures like a compliance officer and whistleblowing hotlines that were established during his time there. He said, there is an independent ethics committee. Since when I was there, we established the compliance officer, whistleblowing hotlines and other bits. And I think one thing we see is the sport has grown massively in a very short time and a lot of people are asking for transparency. I guess we will have to try and understand where we can have transparency, because when it's about individual topics or complaints coming through a whistleblowing hotline, you have to make sure that there is an absolute guarantee and protection of the people doing whistleblowing. Russell, things can't be swept under the carpet. George Russell, who races alongside Hamilton at Mercedes, shared Hamilton's view, emphasizing that issues in Formula One shouldn't be ignored. As a director of the Grand Prix Drivers Association, Russell highlighted the importance of trust between drivers and team leaders, believing that those in charge should prioritize the sport's best interests over their own. He said, I think as drivers we have a role within the teams and you trust that the leaders in this sport have the best interest at their heart rather than their own interests, said Russell, who is one of the directors of the Grand Prix Drivers Association. He continued, I think that goes back to the transparency side. If things are transparent and we see the outcomes of these cases, we all have a chance to judge for ourselves with all of the facts and figures in front of us. But when we don't have the facts and figures and there is no transparency, you always think there's something being hidden. That's why I think it's so important for the sport now, as Lewis said, to send the right message to everybody who's supporting Formula One, watching Formula One, wants to be involved in Formula One, that things aren't just swept under the carpet. So what do you think of the FIA's lack of accountability for things happening in F1? Comment below and subscribe for more.